Last week here at the Vintage Model Company, I showed you the general build techniques used to build a control line model aeroplane. This week, I'm going to show you specifically the control mechanism of a control line plane by building this KK Champ kit, which is a plane we manufacture. This is a profile type aircraft, meaning that it has a flat fuselage. This makes it very easy for you to see what's going on with the controls, and that's why I chose it for this video. Let's start by assembling this simple airframe. The KK Champ goes together extremely quickly. Small jobs like marking the centers of the wings are really the only times that you'll have to line parts up with the main one-to-one -one scale plan. The laser cut parts can be removed rapidly by releasing the tabs with a sharp knife, and then sanding can commence. Make sure to check out that previous video showing how to assemble an airframe like this in more detail. Okay, let's turn our attention now to the hardware that will allow this plane to be controlled whilst in flight. A bell crank is one of the main components that you'll find in the accessory bag included in the kit. It is attached with a bolt, several washers and a couple of nuts to the motor mount plate. This plate is a laser cut part made of 1 8 plywood. The mount can then be glued to a doubling piece. This is then fixed to the fuselage and wing which all go together snugly. Turning attention to the tail, the horizontal stabilizer needs the elevator freeing. All you need to do here is transfer the line noted on the plan to the horizontal stabilizer and then cut the part free with a sharp blade. After sanding, the two halves can be fitted back together with a mylar hinge once the stabilizer has been glued to the fuselage. Moving on to the control system, the included wire can be bent with Z bends so that it can fit through the outermost hole in the bell crank. On the other end, the wire can be passed through the plastic control horn. This control horn is next glued to the elevator. This can be reinforced in several ways, but it's probably easiest to simply pass two screws through the horn and into the wood. Obviously, every part of the control system is critical, and failure in one part would result in a potentially catastrophic loss of control. When you are building this aircraft, you will have to dope and fuel proof it if using a gas engine. We will do more videos on these subjects in the future, but for now we hope you enjoyed this assembly demonstration and found it helpful. Make sure to give this video a like if you did, subscribe for more and we'll see you next week.